Hello again. In this video we will be discussing control tokens and how to use them in Easy Builder Pro. When you have a multi-user system there are some instances that may require the need to restrict simultaneous access to certain controls. WinTech Solution is the control token. It's a lot like a restroom. If it's occupied you will need to wait until the current user is finished. In these two screenshots of the same window, you can see that John has a control token for the objects I don't. As soon as John leaves this page, I will have access to these controls. We have provided tools to make this very simple, so let's get started. You can attach a control token to almost any type of object function but there are a couple of nuances. Right now, if it is a function that can be done by a combo button, any of these functions, word set, change window, pop-up window, close, any of these, bit set, word set, whatever it might be, to complete these functions and use a control token, you will need to use a combo button. These individual objects, like say a toggle switch, does not have a control token option. Now anything outside of what a combo button will do, all of these objects have a control token option. For example, a numeric entry. Now by default there is one control token that is already created for you and it's a little bit of a special control token. But to get into the control token library, you can get there from the project tab and the control token icon. And you can see there's a local access only control token that is embedded in Easy Builder Pro or in your Easy Builder Pro project. Now this is kind of a special control token. This token it will allow local access only. So only the local user, in other words, if they're using a CMT3000 series with an integrated screen or a local screen, that's where this control token would be used. Now for any other user control tokens, all we have to do is add them. And there's nothing really special needs to be done. We can give it its own name if you want. Uh, maybe I'll just change this to uh, control token one. And, um, and that can be accessed by any user, either a local or a CMT viewer user. Now you can also define a, an idle timeout. If this control token is acquired but not used, by X number of seconds, it will time out and then be released uh, for another user to acquire. Or you can disable the timeout completely by leaving it set at zero seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and click OK since I've added a control token. And I'll go back to our uh, window 10 here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a uh, combo button and we'll do a full window change to window 11 and uh, I'm gonna select our local access only token So uh, now this navigation key, basically I made this into a navigation key because it's a combo button and all I'm using it for is a full window change. And uh, under the security, as you saw, we've got our local control only control token. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, download this to my HMI. Now 
now that that's complete uh, I can go ahead and open CMT viewer now here you can see in the instance of CMT viewer viewing the same window that we have no access in fact uh, we can't even view this navigation key here you can see but on the uh, local instance of the screen you can see that that our navigation key is there now back to our user define control tokens well, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, copy and paste this navigation key and I'm going to change this to uh, navigate to window 12 now one other setting here is acquired or unacquired and uh, so you can make uh, one object available when the other one isn't so let's say that you had two windows you wanted to make available uh, but didn't want them both occupied at the same time you could use the same control token for uh, both of those instances So let's go ahead and uh, do a download. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and bring up an instance of, of CMT Viewer. Now, because um, the local screen is start screen, and both of those had a control token, the local instance was the first one to utilize those. So I'm going to go over here and uh, touch our local access button. And of course, you can see our local screen navigated to window 11 and that released the control token that was on window 12 and now uh, I'm on window 12 through CMT viewer and gonna navigate back to the main window in the local instance and you see when I navigated away from that screen it released the window 12 control token now I can take this same button and copy it and put it on window 12 And let's say change that to window 13. By placing this object with the same control token that it acquired when it took this, it should keep this inactive for the local instance. So uh, let's go ahead and do a download and test that scenario. Now that's done. Let's go ahead and use our local access to move to window 11. Now through CMT Viewer, I'm going to access Window 12 
and I still should have this same control token tied up. So let's navigate locally back. You can see any access uh, key is no longer used. So I can navigate back and it released it. And it's as simple as that. Thanks for watching and be sure to come back and see more of our instructional videos.